welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys back with me today. We're going to be doing something super duper fun that I've been waiting to come in the mail for a while and I was kind of getting a little worried that it wasn't going to show up, but it is our BoxyCharm pop-up stuff. I know the top is already ripped open. I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't help myself. So we're, I didn't touch anything. I just opened it to look and make sure that everything was in there. Um, so we're going to be doing a um, boxing of this stuff and we're going to be looking at it, you know, some of it is stuff that I've had before, so I'll kind of give you an explanation on how all that works. But I'm super excited because some of this stuff is, a lot of this stuff actually, is stuff that I've never had before. So I'm excited to get to play with it and add it to my collection. Also, it got approved for our Boxy Lux for June. So right now it says it's in like the shipping process, so it's like being ready to ship out. It's being ready to be shipped out. Yeah. So we will hopefully get that sometime this month and then we will unbox that. We also have to unbox our Juvia's Place palettes. We have our FabFitFun coming in and I'm so excited. I have wanted this box for a long time, but we have our Cause box. So all of this stuff, whenever it comes in, I'll explain it to you guys and like we'll go over all that stuff. But that's just kind of like a heads up of what's coming in future videos. If you want to see what I put on my face, I'll list it down in the description below. I've had this new lip gloss and I really wanted to try it out and I really like it and I normally don't like lip glosses. So I'm super excited. I'm also burning up in this shirt. So let's go ahead and dig into our pop-up for BoxyCharm. So I already opened it clearly, duh, we talked about that previously. So we're reaching here. The first thing that I'm gonna pull out is the Starry Eyes, the world's kindest eye mask. So this is a self-warming eye mask. And I've had one of these before that I think I got in either a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. And I really, really like these. I like the fact that it warms up on all on its own and it does actually get warm enough to kind of give you a relaxing effect. I personally, it took me a long time to use it because I don't like when masks sit on my eyes. I'm so used to having my glasses that touch the like indent in my nose that having something that just kind of sits over my eyes and doesn't touch that indent drives me bananas. I cannot explain to you how just that's an irritating feeling. So I don't use these often, but the one or two times that I did use them, I did really like them. If you have a lot of like eye strain or um, you experience headaches, this does a really good job of helping just relieve and relax your, your eye area and your forehead. I actually, last time I used this, didn't even put it on my eyes. I had a really bad headache. And so I just rested it on my forehead and it still worked, worked just the same. So I think we have two of these, but we'll find that one later. Or, yeah. So we have two of these guys and I will have to go and look at the prices that they are actually worth. And then I will look and tell you what I paid for them going through the boxy pop-up. Okay, so the next thing in here is this guy right here. So it is the Fairy Tale Storybooks eyeshadow palette. And this is in the story of Robin Hood. So whenever I saw this on the website, I thought it was going to be one of their big palettes. And I have a big palette somewhere. Give me a second and I'll find it. And I'll show you the size difference. So whenever I ordered this guy, I thought it was going to be the size of this guy. So the, the bigger one sells for $55. And I can't remember what the little one was. But that, when it, I opened this, I was like... Uh, what? Because that's what I was expecting. But we got this guy. So we'll open it up. And I do really like the colors. So there's only six pans in there. And I do really like the colors. Um, they're very true to Robin Hood, like what he wore. And just the whole color scheme of the story, especially like the Disney version of the story. So I'm excited to be able to try a look with these. So let's go ahead and we'll take some swatches. So we're gonna do all six of them right here on my naked white arm. So we have Maid Marian. This is a very soft um, gold shade. That is like super soft, I mean, I, it feels like you're you're touching 
velvet is how soft that feels. So then we have quiver, which is the matte gold shade. So not as pigmented as I've thought it was going to be. You would definitely have to build up that shade. And then we have Nottingham. So this is more of like a taupey color. This is also a matte. It's also not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. And then we have Forest, which just looks like kind of a black gray. And then we have Merry Men, which is this pretty green color. This is also a matte. And then I've run out of fingers, so we're just gonna go back in with this one. And we have Robin Hood, which is another soft gold shade. That one's very pigmented. So as you can see, the matte shades are a lot softer, so you could definitely build those up. The two shimmer shades are very pigmented. So I'm excited to get to use these. I was expecting more pigmentation from this than what I, what I see in the swatches. So we'll have to do a look with it and see how it looks on the eyes. Um, but overall, I, I'm not very impressed with this eyeshadow palette. I'll have to go back and look and see how much I spent on it. But the bigger palette is actually a really good palette. So I don't know why the little one is showing up like this. My cat is over here laying on my dog's bed like she owns the place. All right, so digging back in here, we have the Becca Backlighting Primer Filter. So this is supposed to give an illuminating effect from my understanding but it's also supposed to help blur like pores and stuff like that so i'm excited i always love primers that help blur pores i have large pores on my cheeks it's just how the world works so we're just gonna do a little squirt squirt well any day now there we go okay so this looks very similar to the benefit but it is a little bit more shiny Smells good. It smells like baby lotion. So I can definitely see that it gives it a little bit of like a, a dewy effect. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it definitely gives it a dewy effect and I feel it's very hydrating feeling. So I'm excited to get to try this. I also just want to keep sniffing it. It smells really good. So I'm excited to get to try this one. So let's just read real quick off the back, just, just so we can get a little bit more. More than just a primer, it's the secret behind the iconic Becca Glow. Infused with three unique filtering luminescent pearls, each one adds a different drop of diffused light. Blended together, they result in a first of its kind, lightweight whipped fluid that creates a smooth canvas and acts as an instant filter. Blur imperfections and gives skin a healthy luminescent glow. I've seen this around and I wanted to try it. So whenever it came available, that's why I bought it. But I'm really excited. It did feel very nice. It wasn't heavy at all. If you need a good blurring primer, I would recommend trying this one. And it doesn't make my hand look like super shiny or look greasy. So I think you could use this even with um, oily combination or oily skin. I have oily combination, so that's why I'm gonna give it a try and then I'll be able to like further tell you if it's a good idea or not. All right, so we have a couple more things left in here. Next we have from Beauty Bakery, it is the Lip Whip Smudge Free Liquid Metallic Lipstick. This is the box. And I bought mine in the shade, I don't know. Oh, Royal Tea. And this is the shade, it's in a frosted glass bottle and it is called Royal Tea. So we're gonna take it out and we're gonna do a swatch. We'll do it on the back of your hand. Oh, I like the way that the doe foot looks. I like that little kind of dip in there. So this is gonna have more of a shine because it's a metallic finish. 
so it's not very pigmented it kind of looks more like a gloss to me so it is a very thin formula as you can see you would definitely have to probably layer this but I am excited to get to try it. I do really like this kind of burgundy shimmery color. And I do have some looks that I can definitely wear this with. So I'm excited that I bought that. And then what else do we got in here? Feels like two more thingies. All right, what is this one? Oh, I'm so excited. So I've recently discovered MAC lipsticks, y'all. MAC lipsticks. Yes. Go for them. Uh, except for like the Ruby Woo, that's the only one that I haven't been able to fall in love with. I just don't like the fact that it's so dry, so dry. So I got this MAC lipstick. It is just a regular matte lipstick, so it's not dry like Ruby Woo. And it's in the shade Candy Yum Yum. So it is like a hot pink. And I normally don't do hot pinks. But I figured that I could break out of my shell and try something that was a little bit different. So this is the color. And you can, it's hot pink. It's definitely hot pink. So we're going to go ahead and swatch it. I'm going to roll it down just a little bit so I don't snap it off. So we're going to just do a swatch. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's like I just rubbed a highlighter on my hand, like those bright pink highlighters that you get in the, in the stores. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Y'all don't understand. I have, um, I have some neon like, eyeshadows and stuff that I really want to try with this. So I'm down. I'm so down. I love this. And it was very creamy. It didn't drag. It just went really smoothly right on over and it definitely has a lot more pigment than the liquid lipstick from ba uh, Beauty Bakery. So I'm so excited. I am so excited. I love MAC lipsticks. If you need like good lipsticks, oh, MAC lipsticks. I love them. Again, all except for their retro mattes, which are too dry for me. Okay, so the last thing in here is something that I was very interested in, but just for the name of it, but it is the Glam Glow Pout mud um yeah pout mud <laughs> i don't understand it says it's a wet lip balm treatment a sheer tint in the shade sugar plum i was i really like this color i can't even get the box open how do i get it open i really liked the color whenever i uh saw it on the thing so this is what it comes in it's just a little silver looks like one of those EOS containers. What? Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to use it, but that's the, <laughs> that's the inside. Um, let's see, does it give us directions or am I just that dumb? Apply evenly to lips, use day and or night as often as desired. <laughs> Do not touch eye with product figure just in case you needed the clarification there so I guess you just stick your finger in it let's go ahead y'all know I don't really like touching my face with my fingers but oh 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 look at that that is so that's like Vaseline that's the same texture as Vaseline uh okay so let's set this down before I like have a conniption and let's let's put it right next to this guy. So it says, it says it's a sheer tint, so it's not gonna have a whole lot of color. Um Yeah, it's the same consistency as like Vaseline or candle wax, like warm candle wax. So that's what it looks like. I mean, you can definitely tell that as you're like warming it up in your fingers, that it uh, it gets slicker. So you don't need a whole lot of it. I just don't, I don't like the way it feels. Oh, okay, yeah. So that, that quells my curiosity a lot. Ugh. All right, let's just, let's just put it back in the box, okay? 
I'll still use it because I paid for it and I'm not gonna like buy stuff and then not use it. I, even if I don't like it, I will still find a way to use it. Um, but, the, I understand why they call it mud now. Pout mud. No. <laughs> just, 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 why? I guess because pout Vaseline wasn't like a good name, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Give me just a second so that I can look up how much I paid for all of this. And also, before I forget, we did get a $12 coupon to use on some of this stuff because we had gotten a repeat item in our BoxyCharm for the month of May. So some of this stuff was brought down in price because of the coupon. But I will still tell you guys everything, how much I spent, all that fun jazz. All right, give me just a second. Let me go look this up. All right, so for everything that I got in the pop-up sale, I wound up paying $27.54 after the coupon. Before that, it was $37.50. So I paid $4 for the MAC lipstick. It is originally $19. The next thing that I have on this list is my Beauty Bakery royalty lip whip metallic i paid six dollars for this it is originally twenty dollars so that saved me fourteen dollars the little eyeshadow palette from storybook cosmetics i paid seven dollars for it it is originally thirty five dollars so real quick fifty five dollars thirty five dollars six pans i think this one has tw what twelve one, two, three, four. Yeah. 12 pans, six pans. What, how does that make any sense? This should be $25. It's half, actually shouldn't even be that. It should be like 27.50. This should, this should be 27.50 because this is 55. Makes sense, it's math. Okay, anyways, $35 originally, I paid $7 for it. So that saved me math. But that saved me $28 on this little guy. So the next thing we have is the Becca Backlighting Primer. I paid $10 for this one. It is originally $39. So that saved me $29 on this. So I'm definitely seeing if they have stuff on the pop-up that you really like, you're gonna get it a whole lot cheaper through having a BoxyCharm subscription than just going to the store and paying for it. Now, obviously when you run out, you have to go and pay full price for it. But just to kind of get a general idea if you like it or not, I'm seeing so far in the trend, that's a pretty good deal. Okay, so the Pout Mud from Glam Glow is $8. How much was it? We paid, I paid $8 for it. It was originally $19, so it saved me $11. No way, come rain or shine, would I ever pay $19 for this? Never. No. The last thing that we have is the set of two eye masks. They were $2.50. I paid $2.50 for them. And they were originally $10. So that saved me $7.50. Yeah. $7.50. These are totally worth $10, by the way would hands down pay $10 for these. Okay. So that was everything that we got. Let me do, let me see how much it would have costed me if I had bought all this stuff together. Okay. So if I had bought all this stuff, sorry, I'm like way out of the camera frame. <laughs> so if I had bought all this stuff retail, I would have spent $142. So I saved myself $126.46 by buying all of this stuff in the BoxyCharm pop-up. Do I think it's a good deal? Heck yeah, because I basically just paid, I basically just paid for a whole nother BoxyCharm box. I basically paid for a whole nother BoxyCharm box and probably got the same amount of stuff that I would have gotten in one too. But I got to pick what I wanted and it was totally worth it. I would highly recommend if you are not a subscriber of BoxyCharm, you definitely go check that out. I will leave a link in the description below. 
I will also leave a link up here or a little card or whatever to my May unboxing of my BoxyCharm just so you guys can go and check that out. It's totally worth it, especially if you like getting different stuff because I find myself getting stuck in a rut all the time when it comes to makeup. So it kind of gives me the opportunity to try stuff that I normally wouldn't try. So I really like it and I like, this is my first time participating in the pop-up and I definitely think that it was totally worth participating in that. So. I'm super excited, very impressed. Hi guys, this is editing me from the future. How you doing? Um, this is gonna be a audio thank you for watching um, because for some reason my camera stopped recording right at the very end of my video. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. You will hurt my feelings. I hope you enjoyed this and check out some more BoxyCharm stuff. I have more videos that I will link down in the description and I'll also put a link to the playlist down there and yeah if you guys have any more subscription boxes that you want me to unbox please let me know in the comments I always read them and I hope you guys stay safe and I'll see you next time bye